Hi champ how are you doing welcome to your class i am your master teacher shivam gupta and in today's class we are going to talk about the linear and quadratic polynomial so champ in this class we will learn everything about the linear and quadratic what are their general form and how to find the zeros of both the polynomials so let us start with the linear polynomial so we know that linear polynomial can be represented by ax plus b where the coefficient of x cannot be zero otherwise it will be a constant polynomial okay the example is 2x plus 3 very easy right now let's see how to find the zero of the linear polynomial so just like the any other polynomial we can find the zero of the linear polynomial also how to do it simply put polynomial equal to zero i will get ax plus b equal to zero find the value of x and that value of x is nothing but the zero of that particular linear polynomial let me show you with the help of some example look at the first example 2x plus 3 so if i will put 2x plus 3 equal to 0 i will get x equal to minus 3 by 2 4x minus 5 if i will put 4x minus 5 equal to 0 i will get x equal to 5 upon 4 which are nothing but the zero of this linear polynomial very easy right excellent so now let's see the general form of the quadratic polynomial the quadratic polynomial is the polynomial which has the degree 2 that means there must be a term of x square right so general form is what ax square plus bx plus c we can see that a cannot be zero because there must be a term of x square otherwise degree won't be 2 right our example is 2x square plus 5x plus 6 right chen very easy So now, Chen, there is one question for you to think about. That can we form the quadratic polynomial from its zeros? We have seen, we know that how to find the zeros if quadratic is given, if linear polynomial is given. But in the case of quadratic polynomial, if I have given you zeros of the quadratic polynomial, can you give me the quadratic polynomial expression? Let's see. So then the next topic is forming a quadratic polynomial from a zeros so how to do it bachche it's very simple just try to understand it so let's assume that a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c has the zeros alpha and beta so from the factor theorem we can say that if x equal to alpha is the zero then x minus alpha is the factor of the polynomial In the same way, if x equal to beta is the zero, then x minus beta is the factor of the polynomial. Now we can write our quadratic equation as product of its factor. Just like any composite number, we can write this quadratic as the product of its factor, right? X minus alpha into x minus beta. After multiplication, what I will get? I will get x square. Minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta equal to zero, right, Chen? So that's it. Alpha and beta are what? Alpha beta are nothing but the zeros of the quadratic polynomial. That's it, Chen. Right? So if the zeros are given and I have to find the quadratic polynomial, how to do it? Very simply. Simply put the values of the zero, value of the alpha beta in this equation. and you will get that quadratic polynomial which has its zeros alpha and beta i hope it is clear right very good now let's see chem that what is the relationship between the zeros and the coefficient okay so chem we have seen that if we know the zeros of the quadratic polynomial so we can find we can write the quadratic polynomial very easily and we also know that the general form of the quadratic polynomial is what ax square plus bx plus c right and if i want to make it a quadratic equation i am using equal to zero also so my general form of the quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c equal to zero so i want to compare these two equation in order to get the relationship so my first job will be what to make the x square coefficient same so in the first one the coefficient of x square is 1 in the second the coefficient of x square is 
and that is why I have divided both the side by a so that the coefficient of x square will become 1 now after after making the coefficient of x square same now we can compare all the other terms right one by one so now let's compare these equation champ the so first one if I will compare the coefficient of x so I will get minus alpha plus beta and b by a both are same so we can write this as alpha plus beta equal to minus b upon a alpha and beta are the zeros of the polynomial a and b are the coefficient right so we got one relation that alpha plus beta equal to minus b upon a and in a same way when we will compare the constant we will get alpha beta equal to c upon a right Ken? very good so we can say that we have two relation now the sum of the zeros equal to minus b upon a product of the zeros is equal to c upon a. i hope this clear okay so now Ken, let's see the same thing with the help of some example in this question we have to find the zeros of this quadratic polynomial and we have to verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficient first of all let's find it zeros and we know how to do it with the help of splitting the middle term i have splitted the middle terms i have taken the common factors I've, i got two factors right x minus 2 x minus 3 so zeros will be what zeros will be alpha equal to 2 and beta equal to 3 very easy so i got my zeros now let's see the zeros satisfy the relation between the coefficient and its zeros so champ we have alpha equal to 2 beta equal to 3 and the value of abc will be what a is 1 b is minus 5 c is 6 right bache now we know that alpha plus beta nothing but 2 plus 3 equal to 5 and from that relation we remember that alpha plus beta equal to minus b upon a so minus time minus b upon a equal to 5 alpha plus beta and minus b upon a having the same value right now let's see the value of alpha beta also alpha beta 2 into 3 equal to 6 c upon a 6 upon 1 is 6 so we can see also alpha beta and c upon a having the same value so they are satisfying the relationship also right look at this problem if alpha and beta are the zeros of this polynomial find the value of 1 upon alpha plus 1 upon beta so what we can do first first we can simplify it we can take the lcm so i will get beta plus alpha upon alpha beta now we know that how to find alpha plus beta and how to find alpha beta so we know we can find the value of alpha plus beta by minus b upon a which will come out to be 2 upon 3 we can find the value of alpha beta by c upon a minus 4 by 3 simply put in the equation you got the answer so always try to first figure out that actually what you have to find out okay champ okay so now let's summarize our class champ let's see what we have learned in this class so first of all we have seen the linear polynomial which has the general form ax plus b and a cannot be zero right otherwise it won't be linear the zeros of the linear the zero of the linear polynomial is what nothing but x equal to minus b upon a how to find it simply put polynomial equal to zero find the value of x now in the case of the quadratic polynomial right champ the standard form is what ax square plus bx plus c and the coefficient of x square cannot be zero otherwise my degree won't be two we have seen that if we know the zeros of the polynomial we can find the quadratic polynomial equation with the help of this equation and we have seen the relationship between the coefficients and its zeros that alpha plus beta sum of the zeros equal to minus b upon a product of the zeros is equal to c upon a very important relations also okay champ so i hope you learned many things in this class you enjoy the class so stay curious and be safe